Good morning, good morning. I am going to talk to you about doing those Facebook automated messenger uh, responses. So when you go into Facebook and you want to set up the messenger app so that it automatically responds to everybody, it's super easy to do, but a lot of times maybe you don't know how to get to it. So I wanted to go ahead and walk you through how to do it. Okay, so this is my farm station page. It's a brand new company that we're setting up. Um, and this, as you can see, there's like barely anything on it. This page has actually been around for years. It just like, we kind of started the company and then we didn't do anything with it. So now that we're starting it, I want to go in here and I want to set up my automated responses. So how you get to it is you log into your page, right? And you'll see all these up here because you're the admin of the page. If you don't see this, you're probably not the admin of the page. So just a tip. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings you're going to get this and then you're going to want to go down to messaging and then you're going to actually want to go down to response assistant and then go to automated responses. And that's going to bring you to the page where you can set up stuff. Now I've already gone through and set everything up, but I wanted to kind of walk you through because I ran into some problems and I wanted to show you how those may look on your, your phone and um, of course how they may look on desktop. So there are some, some little things <laughs> that Facebook could probably do better. So what I'm going to start with is my away message and you'll see the away message and you want to hit edit. You can see I've already got it set up over here, but it brings you to the same screen if you click on edit. So I could have said, you know, we're away at the moment, but here, eat your heart out. And then I put a link to a GIF, kind of hoping that the GIF was going to show up. It doesn't. <laughs> um, but before I get into why that matters and why it's different than every other one, it's just this one is different. Um, I want to show you what the personalization means. So you could say, um, hey, oops, helps if you're in the right spot. Hey, and then put a space and then add personalization, the first, first name and then put an exclamation point. Now you see over here, there's a space. This is a glitch. So you hit a space. So what you want to want to do is go back in front of with your cursor over here and then hit backspace. It won't take away the personalization, but it does put in like an extra space afterwards, which I don't think makes sense when you're saying like dear, like if you were saying dear Wendy, you put a comma or you know, like you would put something after it. So I think it's kind of a glitch, but then I say, thanks for reaching out. Sorry, we're not here at the moment, but here, enjoy this <laughs> this gift of dairy farmers and their hearts out. And then I put the link. And the reason I put the link is because on all the other ones, you can actually put upload a photo or you can upload a, um, a video, but not on this one. That's why this is one's weird. So I'm going to hit save, but then if you hit save, you can't edit messenger. So I had to go back and edit and then go back and preview problem is, is it doesn't show messenger on this screen. So I had to open up a second window of Facebook and there it is. I can see it over here. So you see where things are a little weird with your workflow. Um, basically I can see it here and I just get the link because I just put a link in, right? So now we're going to go back to another one and I'm going to show you some more stuff, but you did see how it says, Hey, Wendy, right? It would say, Hey, whoever ha have a first name here. So sorry for all those pages or all those people who have like, you know, they they have the yeah, they and their husband have like the same Facebook account and it says hey Wendy slash Jason or something like that. That's what show up here it would say hey Wendy slash Jason. Anyway, on to the next thing. Instant replies. You can turn on instant replies. And so this is a message that like as soon as somebody sends you a message, immediately they get something else, right? And I thought I turned this on before, but maybe not. I'm gonna go into editing my message and you can see where I've already put it out. And again this doesn't have the, the buttons is what they call them at the bottom, which I think is weird because why would they be on other pages, but not this one? I've already gone here. I've added my information in. I've done my backspace for my exclamation point. I'm putting in the best places people get a hold of me. I put in the links and that's it. And I'm going to hit save, save. I lose my preview, go down back to edit, go to preview, come back over to my Facebook page and there's all my links and when your links automatically become links as in like you get they're highlighted, you can click on, they go someplace. Um, what I wish they had is that I could just highlight a, a set of text and make that the link instead of having it as a separate thing. Cause I think it makes the message unnecessarily long, but I don't know, maybe Facebook is listening, right? All right. Then you go back over here and then other things you could respond to common questions, usually like contact information. How do I get a hold of you? Um, it's listening for those kind of words. 
So if somebody responds to that, it can automatically send this information to them so they can get a response right back right away and not be waiting around for you to actually see the message to get back to them. Also location. Now we're a virtual company. We don't have a location, but I do give people information on how to write to us, you know? So going to edit message, and this is where things get different. So it's the normal message up here. You can still add your personalizations, but what I thought was interesting is that down here, like if I upload, you know what, we're going to try something choose an image and I've got a whole quandary of extra gifts and stuff. Um, but what it's looking for is JPEGs and, and not animated gifts. So like it doesn't want, if I do all files, you'll see there's so much more stuff in here. Um, and these are cause they're animated gifts, right? But when it's initially looking for it, it's only looking for the JPEG and I don't know if it's going to show. I think it does. Yeah, it doesn't work. It just, doesn't show it doesn't work so it's got to be just a regular jpeg image um what did i have it here before i messed with it uh, contacting information i think it was just a general thing so oh you know what it was it was a video so if you want to do a video you can click on here but again it won't do a gif you actually have to upload an mp4 right or an mpeg so change video and there's all my the videos that I've downloaded and I think on this one I just had oh gosh I think I just had Julie Garland um, just going along on our tractor it will not animate here so like if you look over here it won't animate um, and then before I go show you what that looks like I wanted to talk about these links they give you the option to add buttons they don't look like buttons they're just links um, down here at the bottom, but before I had something like, um, check out our content over on YouTube and it looks all nice and like justified here. And then down here I said, or check out or see us on our website or something like that. Like it was something different, right? But it's all nice and like justified and looks pretty here. But when I do preview in messenger, Okay, so first thing, see the um, the messages up here. It's other thing too I want you to point out is that when your message is especially long, it jumps down to the bottom. So if you've got an image in here, they may not see that you've got all this stuff up here. It's slightly different on mobile. Like, here, it actually showed up here. I don't know if I can get this on the screen. I'm going to try. See how it looks on mobile? Like you can actually see the message. But on desktop, you're only going to see the the video. So when you're doing this stuff, you kind of got to keep that in mind is that it's going to put that little square box and you might be blocking people from what you want them to see. So just something to think about, um, when you're, when you're working out how you want this to go. Um, but if you, if you're trying to drive them to these things, then maybe it's not such a big deal. So, but you can kind of see that there's a message above it down here. You see that slightly, I don't know. It, it's just a, a judgment call on your part, wh how you want to handle it. But this is what I want to point out is see how long this is, how it gets cut off here. It's not so bad on the mobile. I might make that. I got a notification at the bottom. It's not so bad on the mobile. See, but it still doesn't really make sense. So I went back in and I took all that stuff out. I made it just YouTube and website. All right. I think I left it in farm station just so it wasn't quite so bland. And then I open up here and I hit save. And now when you go down and look, it says YouTube and farm station website. So that's, it's not ideal. I would prefer to having other options, but that's kind of the hiccups you're going to run into when you're planning all this out. And then just to bring you up to speed on the other ones, location, um, if someone's asking where you're located, you can give them a quick response. Um, and then page recommended. If someone says like, Hey, these guys are great. You can send them a, Hey, thank you very much. And then whatever, I should really change these out. So they're different, <laughs> different pictures for each one. Um, but we're not quite there yet. So we got a little fine tuning to do. And then page not recommended. We can be like, Oh no, what do we do? And then I put one in here about a prank, right? This guy actually dumped a whole bunch of water on this poor dude's head. Um, and then the last one is if you have an application received, if you put out a, um, 
a Facebook jobs request, like you're saying, um, you post a, a job online, like monster.com, but it's on Facebook, um, you can actually send them a quick message in response to them applying online through Facebook for your job. So that's there. I don't have that. So I'm not going to mess with it. But that's what the automated responses is. That's how you get to it. That's how you set it up. And that's the problem between desktop and mobile. So if this helped you out, please hit like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. It does help grow the channel. And as you can see, we are trying to grow the channel. <laughs> We're only at like a, I guess, 27 subscribers right now. So we are brand spanking new. So I do appreciate it. It does help. Even if you don't subscribe, liking does help make the YouTube gods happy. And I appreciate it. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks so much.